Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, there are shadows to be seen on the ground today. Haven't had that for a few days really. Been having to move the power around a little bit. I'm going to show you one thing that I'm doing today to make everything keep running. But there is actual blue sky up there today and should catch some pretty good sun and let the systems bounce back up to pretty good charge. Oh, and there's the sun, super bright. Wow, we, yeah. So I've been asking a lot of this Power Queen 51.2 volt 90 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery lately. It's the only 48 volt system that I currently run and it has been doing a great job. And I've got 700 watts of solar tied into this. And that solar is going through the Victron MPPT 15035. And I've got that reliable 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And that is of course the 48 volt model. And this has been running my refrigerator freezer uh, non-stop for the past several weeks. And it is just now, because of the past dark days that we've had, uh, this morning it was down to about 25%, so I decided to unplug uh, the refrigerator freezer from there. And because it's gonna be a nice day today, I'm gonna let this thing get charged up uh, to where it needs to be. I probably would have got up to a pretty good charge, 50% or so today even running everything, but I want to go ahead and let it just grab that 700 watts of solar today and get this up as high as I can. And what I've done with that refrigerator freezer is plugged it into my 24 volt system. Uh, this is what I'm using as a, a backup for everything in the house right now. And this has been sitting at 100% full while that power queen was uh, slowly losing ground over the dark days. So. For the next couple of days, I'm going to let this carry the refrigerator freezer, and it was sitting, like I said, at 100% full. If I look at here, it, you know, it's just started using that, and it's only got 300 watts of solar, 98% full currently. So I'll be in good shape to leave that refrigerator freezer tied up to this for the next couple of days. Definitely let that power queen get back up to a full charge, and. Try and reach under here and give you just a peek at this little 24 volt system. M most of my systems look very similar. I've got the Victron 24 volt, 375 watt inverter right there on and running good. Yeah, so just gonna let that power queen charge up. And right here is that 700 watts of solar going into that power queen and it should do pretty good today even though the sun has now disappeared it's going to pop back out again off and on throughout the day give that battery a chance to catch back up but as you can see still a little gray so i'm really pleased with how that's been working for this time of year that's about all I've had to do in the past three weeks is nothing except now just move uh, the refrigerator freezer over to one backup battery and I'll deplete that while I charge the other one back up and we get into more favorable conditions as the sun keeps rising and that 48 volt just runs like a beast. And if I took a look at the Victron app for the past week or so, you can see I was never getting to a completely full charge, but I was getting, you know, at least a thousand kilowatt hours, 1.3, 1.3, you know, and then yesterday, of course, very, very dark and rainy, but still picked up 560 watt hours, but that was making this battery uh, basically fluctuate between about 60% and 30% full. And you can see just in the little time that I've had this up and running uh, this morning, it's already back up to 31% full. And 
When that array gets into full sun, which it is not right now, there's still a lot of clouds moving through. I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, yeah, not, not much coming in there right now, but pretty quick that sun when it is out will get around the trees and I can start pumping in you know a good 600 watts or so and it'll jump this battery up with no load on it now very very quickly so yeah gonna get up to a pretty good charge today I believe and that is the reason I really like having a battery monitor because I can just walk past my systems take a quick peek at any given time of the day or night and see how I'm doing. But, you know, the longer you watch these things and, and know what you're running, you'll know like uh, under what conditions you are operating in, how you're doing. And like I said, I just wanted to get this up to a, more of a full charge. So for the next day or two, I'll let this power queen get up to a full charge and then move that refrigerator back over to here. But super, super easy. All I had to do was unplug from here and plug it into that 24 volt. So it only took a few seconds and that's all I've had to do recently. So considering uh, we are in the darker days of the year and the weather is of course unpredictable, doing very well on solar still. So yeah, it'll go up pretty quick here. But yeah, if you don't have something like this, which operates like a gas tank gauge where you can just quickly look and see what your state of charge is here or your, or your capacity is doing, you know, 31%, it'll go up pretty quick. So I've been running this system for the past couple of years now, I believe it's been. Uh, not one component on this system has given me a problem, not one single time. Uh, it just runs perfectly. And it looks really good. A lot of clouds still moving through, but this will turn out to be a good solar catching day. Winds are moving pretty good. All right, I'm going to head back up that way and see what kind of trouble I can get in today. All right, everybody. Have a good day. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Aloha, everybody. Just chasing the power around a little bit. Unplug one, plug another one in. No problem. Yeah. Living on solar.